Hi, I'm Natasha Astara and I'm a spiritual artist and I work clairvoyantly with my clients to create a painting that um, anchors in some of the spiritual coaching we've done. Um, my guides, my spiritual team are uh, a healing team as well as an insightful team and um, I work a lot with angels and elementals and ascended masters and this comes through on my work. So I came on today because I've been having this feeling that I should start creating paintings um, helping us to understand the current energies that are in pl at play in the planet um, and this painting I've been working with in February and I've been looking at the we've had loads of amazing planets in Aquarius as part of the new moon in February and I'm not an astrologer but I'm definitely um, a planetary empath or cosmic empath and I do feel the effects of the planets very acutely. Um, so I've been working with this and I want to talk about the energetic alignments we're having. So um, often what's at play in the cosmic field that we are experiencing at the moment is often a mirror of what's going on in our own um, personal um, information field, our own energetic makeup. And we're going through a huge expansive time on the planet, as you probably know, with lots of awakenings going on spiritually. And, um, and also like an awakening of sensitivity, an awakening and awareness of sensitivity and what it is to be a sensitive and to come into relationship with that sensitivity, which also enables us to come into relationship with ourselves, with other people, and with all the other realms, like the plants, the animals, um, the trees, the sky, the planets, it's all connected. Once we become sensitive, we realize that everything is connected and we're part of one huge whole. Um, right, so that's a kind of background of what we're going to be doing. So this painting, um, you can see is kind of violet here. I used a lot of violet light, which is for me about the energy of transformation. And it shows that we are actually um, transitioning from, you know, sometimes lower frequencies and old patterns, um, using the violet ray into transforming it into something lighter. Um, when we're looking at lighter frequencies, we're meaning things that are less dense and have um, a feeling of lightness. So violet is sometimes relates to the crown chakra and uh, wisdom, peace. So um, I've been using that as a, a background to my painting. And on the painting, um, I work very intuitively and my design can sometimes appear a bit sort of um, haphazard, but actually, it's I'm sort of downloading the energy signature that I'm feeling in the world around me. So in this particular one, I'm using um, a circle, which is a portal, um, a frequency portal to try and bring energy in. And I felt that during February, what we have is a very expansive energy um, coming in. Like we're being asked to expand and particularly in the realm of the masculine energy. I do feel like the sacred masculine is um, come, it's ripe to come in, it's ripe to download into our structures at this time. And it just depends on how much energetic clearing we can do uh, within ourselves to make room for it, make space for it. Um, so often with the sacred geometry, I have Archangel Metatron coming in. Um, and I also had Archangel Zadkiel, um, who is uh, the angel of transformation. So round this, um, this circle, we also have like an inner circle forming, which shows me that, you know, we are on different vibrational frequencies. We're not just working with one dimension frequency. Um, we're actually having another frequency coming in. And when I ask what are the dimensional frequencies, I'm receiving that um, the first frequency is helping us come out of the fourth dimension, which is time and creating a bridge into the um, 
fifth dimension, but this one set behind us here is actually seventh dimensional portal, and that between them is the sixth dimension. So we're actually creating a bridge here of bringing energy frequencies in that can allow us to align and also um, speed up our frequencies on some level so that we can release what is blocking us. So we'll get to that point in a moment because really this painting is about expansion and I'm feeling the masculine energy really coming in to um, show us um, something that we've never seen for here on earth actually, which is all very exciting. I'm excited um, because I think we're all a bit fed up of the old toxic energies we've had to deal with that have kept us stuck in a patriarchal um, system and have been ruling this planet for way too long. So in here, I've got um, the blue line here. And when I ask about that line, um, it feels like a masculine structure linked to diamond and angelic light. Um, I'm asking also for the ascended master. I'm getting a mixture of Serapis Bay and also um, Maha Chuan and Mother Mary coming in with this frequency here. And so what oh, was a bit wet, still wet because I'm working on it. Um, so with this um, circle, we have these, uh, we have the diamond shape coming in and it creates a sort of framework, a sort of focus. Um, so I noticed this was coming in quite a lot. And when I looked at it, it was sort of like the aperture of a camera or, or the eye. And it's where we um, we, we bring in, we let light in with the portal, the circle, but then the, the diamond, the aperture helps us to focus it in. So it becomes much more um, aligned, a bit like a laser light, um, uh, aligned to, you know, the exact frequencies to what we're trying to achieve. And this painting is showing me there's a mixture going on here. Um, we also have a little bit of gold here. I don't know if you can see that. It's very small amounts of gold, um, which is showing me that we're also bringing in a stabilizing energy because we're on earth. And that stabilizing frequency is linked to gold. And um, that has a very good energetic quality to help us ground things here on earth. Um, there's something to do with the physical structure of earth and how it was created where gold um, has a very um, distinctive ability to help us stabilize and um, work with um, different dimensional frequencies in a more stable way because we are in physical bodies. Um, okay, so we have a little bit of gold here. And what I noticed was coming in was um, these little spots of light here. I'm not sure you can see it on my camera but there's some, let me just see if I can, or I probably messed my setup if I move it, but you can see some little spots here and they are basically the, the energy alignments being released. And um, when, when I see that coming in, they're like little particles in the information field, which are partly physical and partly spiritual. So that's, that sounds a bit, you know, ambiguous, but what they're showing me is that we, um, often we're creating in our field out here and that's sort of area between our energy bodies where we're working with these these particles um, and sometimes they can be ones that where we receive a lot of information that are healthy and good for us and sometimes we can be releasing um, particles which we no longer need they're like um, old structures that are leaving old codes old mind patterns or I'm, I'm getting the word brainstem. So, you know, there are ways that we can kind of release old junk that we don't need anymore. Um, and so I'm looking here where we have some blue rays coming in and it's really beautiful iridesc iridescent colors. Um, and I'm seeing that we actually have some beingness of color and the angelic realm coming in. And I've seen that almost like wings and what they're telling me here is that they are parts of the angel, but they're also linked to the elemental frequencies here on Earth. And part of what we're doing in this February is with the expansive Aquarian energy that has been sort of, you know, we're still under the effect of, we're receiving this um, kind of relationship, a higher frequency relationship 
with the um, elemental realm. And that is really great because it means that we can finally begin to have a dialogue with our environment. The elementals are all around us, they're in nature, they're to do with the plant, plant kingdom, um, they're to do with the earth and also the crystals and the caves and everything you can think of in nature, the sky, the, the air, all has these elemental beings and even the colours um, that we work with in art all has this sort of beingness of colour. Um, that's quite a big concept to try and get your head around but all I'm trying to say here is that these parts in the painting are showing us that um, we're having a better a more refined relationship with these beings, which is good because once we can really um, begin to hear and sense and know and be aware of these beings coming through to speak to us, they can show us, if we listen, they can show us how to really live in harmony with nature and with ourselves. Um, one of the problems we've got going on that's been going on a long time is this push towards um, separation of self, separation of sensitivity, um, separation of humanity from nature. And these um, beings are coming in to help us um, to reconnect with our, ourselves, our awakening of self um, and the spirituality, our spiritual nature, but also in a physical body, in a physical way. Um, so they, they're present, they're telling me, in all the um, kingdoms that we see around, but we often don't know how to talk to or communicate with, and they are really coming in in a very high frequency, um, and it feels very angelic, very light to, to work with us. So that's good. Um, so I'm probably due to about coming to about time because I don't want to go on forever. Um, but also what we've got going on in this corner down here is um, a reconfiguration of self going on in, on, in February. And what's happening here is look, it, we're seeing some darker patches in the painting and it's showing me that there is some really deep transformation going on um, in the roots. And I'm, I'm sort of being shown the feet. Um, and, you know, where we've, um, they're going to be realigning what we came here to do. So often in, when things are in our feet, and I'm shown them, they, we, they are how we walk on the earth, how we connect with the Mother Earth, how we are able to stand in our truth as well, and link to what we need. And I'm feeling these um, dark patches here are coming in to, to help us individually and collectively look at soul purpose. And I'm sensing a real spiritual awakening that's going to happen. It may not happen now in February, but I'm beginning to see that in, by about May time, it's going to take a few months to come through um, the, the, the ethers into our being. It's, gonna, it's already coming in, it's coming in the feet, but we're going to start sensing it very slowly, but we won't see the physicality in the world um, until about May but it will be happening very slowly. It's like planting the seed. And as the transformation goes on internally, um, people will begin expressing it. And we're going to see some big awakenings, like it's going to be wowzers. Um, and they're also telling me, um, my guides are saying Uranus is going to be really um, bringing some lightning quick activity there, almost explosive. Um, but in a good way, explosive with light. So I'm seeing that's going to be happening down in our feet. And as I come around here, that actual transformation down on this side of the canvas is also going to be resonating out. And what I'm seeing um, a lot of expulsion coming out of the field that we're going to feel all the way through our chakras, we're going to feel all the way through our memory banks and sensory system is like a like an old fog that we're basically clearing out old patterns. We're clearing out things that we don't need, old programming, um, you know, where we've been numb, where we haven't really cared, where we felt like it wasn't our responsibility. There are a lot of mind programs that we've all either empathed in or we've been taught or we've been brought up in, um, particularly in the Western world. Um, and this 
uh, is showing me that this fog is going to be lifting. And it, you know what, I'm feeling that it's going to be quite a joyful process because um, what I'm being shown is that people are actually tired. We're tired of living under this kind of weight that we don't even know what that weight is. And what this transformation is doing here with these other frequencies combined is bringing in this real power um, of lightness to awaken and inspire and remind us, well, what we actually came here to do. So that my guides are telling me this is also a diamond frequency painting and um, the diamond frequency really helps us with clarity. And if there has been any woolly fog or um, distrust or misunderstanding or disunderstanding, they're telling me, um, you know, where, which has created splits and separateness, we're really going to begin to align to a very much stronger frequency um, that on a personal level feels like diamond light coming through. So that's my reading for the month of February. I hope you liked it. I will try and do another one. I'll, I'll try and show you this painting on the end, or you can look at this painting when it's finished on earthmotherstarchild.co.uk um, on Instagram or my website, and I'll show you another one when we come up to March. Thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you again. Bye.